Yes, come in. Hello, are you here to see me? Yes. I am Kira. The mother of your ex-husband's child-to-be. Why are you here? I came to tell you to leave Sasha alone. We're going to have a baby, Midya is an adult now, and you keep taking advantage of Sasha's kindness to get money out of him. Please leave. You're not old yet. You'll find someone else for yourself. Sasha doesn't love you, get over it. We're about to find out the truth about this well. I knew I couldn't drink from it, especially in a kindergarten. Without them, now we're going to find out how bad it is and how much we overreacted. It's horrible. Boreas? Boreas, this is worse than I expected. It's not just not recommended. It's life-threatening. Boria, what kind of man am I? What kind of man am I if I let this happen? Life is a series of compromises. I can assure you that Pavlovsky and company will not be touched, even if they have any problems. They'll get it all off their backs. I'm sick and tired of making excuses for myself. The process is underway. Thank you very much. It's a great gift. You're welcome. Use it. You know, I really admire you. Leaving the board to go freelance is a powerful thing. Yes, a couple of days and a new life again. Your own practice is the level. You're going to make it work. I have confidence in you. Thank you. How's your wife Rita doing? She's fine. Is she gone? No, she has some business in town. She's staying with me for a few more days. I see. Anya, I told you everything. There's been nothing between us for a long time. It didn't seem that way to me. You see, she's been close to me for a long time. And now there can't be anything between us. Are you still angry with me? No. Pasha, I'm not angry. It was a sign, a sign to think with your head and not to do anything stupid. I'm not that age anymore. You're wrong. We're at that age where you have to do whatever you want. Or it's too late. I'm getting a divorce soon. It's only a matter of time. What are you afraid of? Pasha. Let's not talk about it. I'm sorry. I'm the one who started this conversation. Okay, I get it. I won't rush you, by the way. I found you a client interested. Sure. Then let's go to breakfast, business-like. That's a great idea. Who are you? This is my coach. Okay. We're pretty much done here. Take the sensors off him.
<laughs> it turns out I was so hungry. Well, what client do you want to show me? I took the case yesterday, the murder of a girl. Victoria Belichina, 25 years old. Her body was found in a ravine near the highway. There were signs of a struggle. They found a work laptop, some money and a phone on her. The phone was smashed, but it's being repaired. So not a robbery? Apparently not. She works as a sales manager. We found out from the staff in the office that she went to her boss Nikolai Stanov's office that day. Apparently they were arguing about something. They were talking in high tones. After the conversation she left, she took her bag. She left in a hurry. No one else saw her. Curiously enough, five minutes later Stanov left, too, and returned two hours later. What does this Sedanov say? He says nothing. He doesn't want to talk without a lawyer. He fired his permanent one, and he won't agree to a civil one, so get to work. Thank you. Here's his card. I'll go talk to him. Let's go together. What are you wasting time for? Is this the final decision? You're not gonna put me in the game. Yes, Midia. But you're not right that your absence from sports competitions is the end of your career. I'll lose this year. And at my age, that's a lot. Yeah, we didn't apply anywhere else this season. But that's for now. No one knows. I know. You shouldn't be mad. All right. I'll go. You need time to realize and pull yourself together. But you're a man. And you can handle it. Media. Please tell us about your relationship with Victoria Belichina. We have a working relationship. Nikolai Sargevic, could you please tell us in more detail what kind of person she was? What kind of specialist was she? Okay. She came to us about a year ago. She came to us about a year ago. Her daddy works in the city administration, Vladislav Belichin. Maybe you heard. Asked for a place for his daughter. I hired her as an intern. And the girl turned out to be clever, and in a couple of months she was already the head sales manager. So she's a good specialist. I told you she was pushy and ambitious. She could do anything. But as they say, insolence is a blessing in disguise. The day she died, you had a conflict. Over what? She wanted a promotion, but I said no. She said she was going to tell her dad and he was going to shut down the agency, etc. And did you? What about me? I sent her away. I'm not a little one to listen to threats from an insolent girl. That's the whole conflict. Where did you go after this conversation? For a drive to get some air. I love it, you know? It calms the nerves. What do you think? No alibi. No good reason to suspect him, either. The IT guys were able to pull files from Belligina's phone. There's video. Size. Wow, there's adult video. Check it out. So Belizhina and Zidanov were lovers. He didn't mention it. The video was taken three days ago. Only for what purpose did Belizhina film her sex with Zidanov? Was this taken at her apartment? Looks like it. There's nothing in the report about a camera, so it's not ours. She could have disguised the camera. Based on the angle of the shot, we can figure out where it was hidden and see if it's there now. Let's go look for it, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Sorry. Hello, son, Midya. I'll definitely come to see you today. 
and now go on studying as if no one had told you anything. Fucking teachers. Yes, that's exactly what I told her. Right to her face. I don't know if she's going to tell Sasha and turn him against me. No, she won't. I'll tell you what. You get him. And let him decide who his family is. Okay, mom. He has to choose you. Of course he should pick me. I looked at her. She was no figure, no face. Mom, I'll call you later. Bye. Kira, hi. Hi, but I'm in a hurry, Maxim. I won't keep you long. I just want to tell you that I love you. And I'm ready to raise your child, even though it's of Lev's. Same thing, Max. How many times you didn't seem so boring to me before? If Lev is willing to raise his own child, how does he raise kids? By the way, you know his media well. How is he brought up? Yes, Midia is well-mannered. I respect him. Okay, bye. Bye. It's good that Daddy cares about his children's upbringing. I'm sick of it. What are you looking at? We need a bedroom. The camera should be in this corner. I level. I level. Got it. There it is. Do we need a computer to see what's on the camera? I'll try to connect it to the TV. Here you go. Lots of separate files. I get it. The camera works on the motion sensor. That's why it is recorded when there is someone in the room. Okay, here's yesterday's video. The operatives are looking around the room. Okay. And turn on the video before that. Look at the time stamp. It's the morning right before she died. Getting ready for work. Nothing interesting. Keep going. Next video. The evening before. Talking on the phone, turn it up. I did what we talked about. He's freaking out. Yeah, he's bringing the money tomorrow. You're right. If I'm not here by one o'clock tomorrow, send it to his wife so she can enjoy watching it. Kisses, see you tomorrow. Blackmail. Religion was blackmailing Stanov. Yeah. That's a serious motive. Anya, I'll have to hold him. It's understandable. Tomorrow you'll visit him in the detention center. Nidia, son, hi, I'm sorry. I got held up. I have my first solo client. It's a lot of work. 
media. What did the coach say? Media. Well, you're a grown man. Talk to me, please, son. Don't be silent. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. Me too. I cooked you a dinner. Wings with vegetables and potatoes, just like before. Go wash your hands. Rita, I'm not hungry. How about some tea, then, with Napoleon, just the way you like it? Good night. Anya! Sasho, hi, I'm sorry I'm late. Hi, it's not late. I'm still at work. At work? Yeah. I have some, some complications. You okay? Look, Midya's in trouble. They're not taking him to the game. Can you pull up your connections at the university? Talk them into taking him. I don't think so. We need to find his girlfriend. He won't talk to me. He's shut down. Her name is Nika. She's a freshman. That's all I know. Maybe she can talk to him, Sasha. I don't know what to do. I'll talk to him. I don't think that's going to work. Look, Midi has a father. I should at least do something for you. Don't worry. I'll meet him and make sure he listens to me. And thank you for that call. Last time we saw each other in a nicer place. I hope it won't be for long. Maybe you can tell me about the video of you and Victoria. Where did you get it? I broke her phone the last time we fought. It was repaired. Please don't show that video to my wife. I'm begging you. I'm not gonna show your wife anything. How long was your relationship with Victoria? A couple of months. It wasn't a relationship, just sex. And then she started blackmailing me. What did she want? Money, a very large sum. And the next day, otherwise she threatened to show the video to Eva, my wife. Where's the money? There is no money. Why are you messing with my head? You're not so bad back there, by the way. After two o'clock, I'll go and get it. Do you understand? And no tricks. If my wife finds out anything, I'll strangle you with these hands. Get out.
Did you kill her? I went to the bank to get the money, but she never came back. Meet Eva, the wife of Nikolai Stanov. Hello? Hello! Anna Evleva, the best lawyer in town. She's the one defending your husband. Thank you for defending Kalia. Do I owe you anything? No, Nikolai sent an advance. That's enough for now. Shall I go then? I hope they'll let me in. Certainly. Goodbye. Where was she the day she was killed? She has an alibi. She was at a friend's manicure that day. It turns out that Victoria blackmailed Zadonov and never got the money. She also has an accomplice, whom she reported for money. She has some strange photos on social media. I'll show you. Okay. I'll watch this. Usually she's all classy and up to date. But these pictures are kind of weird. The light's dark. There's no geolocation. It's in some strange apartment, except you can see the house outside the window, but that's it. The house is memorable. But without knowing the neighborhood, it's hard to tell what kind of house it is. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bank, see if Sadonov was there right after the fight. Then I'll go to Belijina's father and find out why she needed that kind of money. <laughs> Good luck. May I? Come in, Sansanik. What do you want? Gennady Petrovich, I know you were against it. But I did my own research on this well. My results are radically different from the ones we submitted to the State Commission. So, we got the state order. By the way, your signature is on the documents. What else? You know I signed them to get the loan. But now I'll find the money. I'll take out a loan to pay it back. Ivlev. Why don't you sit still? Jana. Look, the water, this water, it's not just not good. It's definitely dangerous to your health. You're going to supply it to kindergartens. This well is a gold mine. And that's all I want to know about it. Jenna, I can't keep quiet. Will conscience bother you? Then go to church and light a candle. Just don't make a mess of my company. You're connected to the government, aren't you? You can fix everything. You can withdraw that application. Think of something to keep the poison water from getting to the kids. You don't have to tell me what to do, okay? And don't play the altruist. We know you too well. Jenna! Your daughter was blackmailing her boss. She demanded a rather serious amount of money. Do you have any idea why she needed that kind of money? I don't know. She made good money. Maybe she was telling you about a big purchase or some kind of trouble. We had a story with Vyke. She got mixed up with some fool about six months ago. Thought she'd get over it, followed her, but didn't get involved. And then she did something crazy. She bought him some weed and used my card to pay for it. 
I can imagine. That was a hell of a scandal. A city official buys drugs for himself. It was barely hushed up. Of course, I gave Vika a piece of my mind afterwards. After that, she promised she would never take money from me again. What about this weed lover? Romeo, a junkie. I put him in an asylum. He's still being treated there. Get a printout on the client's operation. What's his name? Nikolai Zdanov. Nikolai Zdanov. What period? The last three days. Just a minute. Please? Thank you. Let's have a look. Two days ago, there were two calls. There was a cash withdrawal order this morning at 11 o'clock a.m. And there was a pickup at 2.27 p.m. Can I have one of those? Yes, of course. So he was in the bank for 27 minutes. What did you want? It's not like getting money for ice cream from an ATM. That's why they closed the cash register. There's a room where they dispense large sums of money. The client is invited there. The money is counted. And it takes on average 15 minutes to half an hour. Yes, I'm just checking. So he was in the bank from 2.02 p.m. to 2.27 p.m. Yeah. And he left the bank with the amount he wanted. That's correct. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello. Hello. Patient Orfiv, where can I find him? Just a minute. Gal, hi, tell me, where is Orefiev? Yes? For how long? Can you tell me, please? Yes. Orefiev was discharged three weeks ago. They kept this address. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello. Hi, son of his alibi was confirmed. What have you got? There is the former Belligina. He was recently released from the asylum. Her father put him there. Let's go talk, shall we? Let's go. Hello, Vladislav Vitalievich. To what do I owe? Calling to ask how my Orfiv is doing. Is he behaving well? He's fine. He's been treated and rehabilitated. He's been back in society for three weeks. What do you mean, back in society? They discharged him. Here we are. Look at this. This is the same house, the one with Belligina's picture on it. So she definitely saw our fieve lately. That's Victoria's father. Looks like he's in a bad mood. Wait here.
Don't do this. Lucky Orafiev. You saved his life. Okay, it's a good thing you did. Get him out of here. Please. Hello, son. I brought some cottage cheese. I didn't come because I was afraid I'd shake your morale. I couldn't take it. So I came. First of all, I want to tell you that I think cheating on your mother was a big mistake. I sincerely regret it. It is a betrayal and a crime. And I apologize to her and to you. I also want to tell you that I know exactly how you feel. I wanted to be an athlete once. I was supposed to be on the Olympic team. Yeah, I didn't tell you that because it was a traumatic experience for me. It was and it is. I was one step away from the national team when I accidentally hurt my knee in training. No big deal. Meniscus injury. A couple of weeks and I would have been. Good as new. But I couldn't take it. I felt like life was passing me by. I went back to training. And then what? And then? Then nothing interesting. A meniscus tear, surgery. I wasn't out of the sport for a month or a year. Forever. I feel like I've recovered. Understand, one tournament right now is not worth your big sport's future. Hey, you're late today. Hi. Can I make you some mint tea? I'm good. I'm going to bed. Tell me, is it serious? With who? With Anna, the lawyer. Rita, what do you care? Give it to her. It must be hers. I found it under the bathtub. All right, son, it's late. It's past your bedtime. I'm going to go. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. It's just a shame it was a waste of rehab money. What are you talking about? You're recovering under the supervision of the best rehabilitators. Isn't it worth it? Go back to sleep. Thank you. Pasha! Pasha, are you asleep? I had such a scary dream. I couldn't sleep. Well, sleep.
Midia. Are you ready? Almost. Two minutes. I'm glad you're in a good mood. Anyway, mom. Hold on. Dad was here. He apologized. I forgave him. But you don't have to forgive him. I don't want you to live your life alone. So if you have someone else, I'll understand. Here you go. Sit down, Vladislav Vitalievic. Tell us why you shot Orefiev. The asylum didn't stop him. That's what I decided. But not even a bullet could take the shithead. Do you think that Orefiev killed Victoria? He had something to do with it anyway. If he didn't do it himself, he did it because of him. I didn't keep my daughter safe. I'm sorry, Vika. Good afternoon. Hello. How are you? I've been better. Tell me, did you kill Victoria Bolijan? What's in it for me? As far as I know, it was your idea to blackmail Vicky's boss. Yeah, I needed the money. The whole asylum thing really got to me. No one would hire me, and I'm hungry. So we came up with the idea of setting it up. So maybe her boss killed her too? No, as long as you're the prime suspect. I was waiting for Vika to bring me the money. One o'clock, just like we talked about. She got distracted somewhere, turned her phone off. I sent the video to the client's wife. You sent the video to Zadanov's wife? Yeah, there was an agreement. Yes. Hi. Sanova knew about the connection with Belijana. Orfeev sent her the video at 1 p.m. What was the exact time of Belijana's death? About 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, I'll go check out Sadanova's alibi. I'll have the guys look at her car. See if they can find anything. I already told you. She was at my place till this evening. I understand. I just need to know everything right down to the minute. Eva was with you from 2 o'clock p.m. until... No, there was a 2 o'clock p.m. appointment, but Eva's never on time. Was she late that day, too? I waited an hour and a half for her. Then she was at my place until the evening, and she never left. Редактор
Rita, please stop. I'm watching you. You get so tired. I want you to rest. Relax. Rita, why are you here? Unexpectedly. I miss you. I can't help it. You're the one who left me. I know I did. I know. Don't you love me anymore? No, I don't. I love another woman. That's why you should go away. And think about getting a divorce, please. I ask that the charges against my client be dropped. The court was presented with evidence that my client had an irrefutable alibi at the time of the murder. What does the prosecution have? Your Honor, we drop the charges against Nikolai Zadanov and charge Eva Zadanova with the murder of Victoria Belichina. Traces of the murdered woman's DNA were found in her car, as well as a motive. All materials are submitted to the court. I ask to take Ms. Sadanova into custody. Take her away. Could this be a mistake? Your wife confessed to everything. The AKA, hi. Did something happen? Come on, I'll give you a ride. Anya, congratulations to you. Your first case on your own. Thank you for your help and for the client. As always. I suggest we celebrate in the evening. Pasha, isn't your wife waiting for you at home? Rita's gone away. We're good. There's nothing between us, and I'll be filing for divorce in the very near future. I suggest we have a celebratory dinner when we're both divorced. That's a long time to wait. Yeah. Have a good evening. <laughs>